Next generation sequencing has the potential to completely transform the way that forensic science, and particularly forensic nucleic acid analysis is done. These peak profiles, which you see when you use capillary electrophoresis, are only the tip of the iceberg. With massive parallel sequencing, you see everything. You see the complete iceberg. It really makes you much more confident about the, the results and the conclusions you can draw from the result. Next generation sequencing helps our research and that we look into our samples with just much more depth. We just see more details. You get much more differentiation uh, in your DNA profiles. The evidential value of the, the profiles will increase and it will be much easier to deconvolute uh, mixed profiles. Already we're seeing that with the extra information from the sequencing data we're getting, even just with STRs, that for things like identification of human remains, it should, should potentially make it much more useful to actually be able to do the sort of complicated relationship uh, type testing that we need to do. It's very inspiring and exciting to remember that we're not finished yet in improving forensic genomics tools. And by answering more subtle questions than we could ever do in the past, we can aid more cases and bring more cases forward than ever before. Next Gen Sequencing could offer a, a wealth of information just from a tiny sample. Because if you have a single hair root, there is only so many PCR reactions you can do to get uh, different pieces of information. This is a whole new level of amount of information that you can actually manage to get from a very small sample. And NGS allows me to uh, bring in new markers, markers that would provide uh, a much a better picture of the person's physical appearance or ancestry or um, identification. You get a much higher level of data, a much higher level of information that will, could really swing a case. You want to get every piece of information you possibly can out of possibly a critically limited amount of sample. And that's something that you can't really do with capillary electrophoresis. One thing that we really like about the Illumina system is that it's uh, very simple to operate. Uh, some of the competition, it's a bit more art than science. Uh, the setup of Illumina is so straightforward. It comes as a, as a platform. For a forensic casework lab, that is important that it has both software and a kit and a machine. It's a great uh, way of getting the lab work done with, that, with the minimum amount of fuss. Just embrace next generation sequencing. Don't be scared of it. It's the way ahead. Next generation sequencing can eventually producing a consolidated testing platform that can look at multiple types of omics, if you will, in one, all-in-one, composite uh, test. It's a system that is likely to be much more widely applicable than you ever could have predicted. Actually, it, is, it isn't nearly as, as difficult and as, uh, and as big a change as you imagine it's going to be. I see what my colleagues in cancer diagnostics and DNA diagnostics do on a routine basis. So for me, it's, it's an absolute no-brainer that, in the end, forensics is going that way. Make sure that you uh, acquire it in time before it's too late. A generation ago, a small group of forensic scientists transformed the way that criminal investigations are undertaken through the use of DNA. It's not often in a professional career that you have the opportunity to make history. Right now, today, not tomorrow, right now.